This is MySketchup.com, and this is the very first tutorial, just getting to know how to use the program and what to expect. Um, when you first open it up, you'll go through a couple of uh, Got It tutorials that explain some of the different features of the program itself. Some of the things that weren't mentioned is that Google SketchUp is a three-dimensional drawing program. So it gives you the X, Y, and Z axis. And when you first open it up, it gives you a person here for perspective. So um, when you're ready, you can erase the person. Uh, notice that when you open up the instructor over here, anytime you go to a tool, it will explain how to use that tool. So if there's ever a point where you're not exactly sure, click on a tool and go through the little instructor menu and it will explain it and it will even give you some modifier keys to uh, have give you some different things you can do with it. Um, also, something else that's not explained, uh, the tools as you start to use them, the drawing different drawing tools. So here's a rectangle tool. As I click and I drag, you'll notice that you'll see uh, the dimensions in the bottom right corner changing. And a rectangle has two dimensions, X, see how the Y is still comma zero. So it's X comma Y. So it's X comma Y dimensions to make a sp specific size. If I want to draw a line, I click, I drag. Notice as I rotate, this is in the blue axis direction, green and red. Okay, another thing that you should notice is when you're in a tool and you uh, want to stop using it, you can just press escape and that will get you back out of the tool. Um, some other quick things to notice is as you are over a line or an edge, it will snap to the end point or the midpoint, changing color of the actual mouse so that you can um, use those to your advantage. And you'll also notice when you have four lines connected, they make a surface. And a surface is what allows you to make things three-dimensional. With the push-pull tool, you can click on different shapes and make them um, different sizes and heights based on what you need for your project. You'll also notice that when you use any tool, you can infer or hover over a point on an existing um, feature or shape and it will snap to that height. So um, that's also very useful. And all these different tools will allow you to change a specific um, size or height or distance right here in this menu, but you don't have to click in here. You simply just drag, start to drag in the direction you want to go, let go of your mouse and type in uh, the size that you want something to be and hit enter and it will be that distance. Okay, so take this opportunity to um, try it out, draw some different shapes, draw some, uh, play around with the different tools, play around with the push-pull tool. Also play around with the orbit tool where you can change the, um, the orbit of the view that you're in and, um, and all the different tools just to practice with and try out. And when you're done practicing for about five or 10 minutes of just drawing around, change this to practice, uh, put the name in right down here, practice and save it to your Google Drive so that you at least know that you can save it to a spot that you are, uh, are saving it to. Okay, so that is the first tutorial. When you're done with that, you're going to go on to your project and the specific tutorials to start your project out uh, and save under your project um, file folder name in your Google Drive. Thank you for watching.